This is BBC One. Welcome to London. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Miss World 1967. As well as 54 of the world's most beautiful girls, some travelling men, Los Zafiros. <laughs> to serenade the ladies, Malcolm Roberts. <laughs> and your host of the show, Simon D. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Well, before we go on with the competition, I'd better put a face to the voice you can hear there, your man in charge of the news, Michael Aspell. <laughs> and indeed, on behalf of all those concerned with Miss World, a very big welcome from us here in the Lyceum Strand, and of course, to you all at home. As Michael has said, 54 girls with one ambition, or two perhaps, the Miss World trophy, and a cheque for £2,500, which can't be at all bad. There's been absolutely no preliminary judging at all so far. And talking of all, all the girls you will only see once, and that is very shortly when I ask them to come on. They will appear in their national dress, so there'll be quite a bit of colour on the stage for you to see. And just in case they feel a bit homesick, behind them you'll see some pictures of their home to keep them company when they come on. So remember, only 15 girls go through to round two from the 54 coming on stage. So at home, have your pencils and paper ready and see if you can pick the same 15 as our judges to whom you'll be introduced later on in the show. But enough from me, let's get on with Miss World 1967 and our first entrant, number one, Miss Argentina. Miss Australia. Dominion of Canada. The representative from Ceylon. Miss Chile. Costa Rica. <laughs> Miss Cyprus. <laughs> Miss Czechoslovakia. Miss Dominican Republic. <laughs> Miss Ecuador. <laughs> Miss 
Miss Finland. Miss France. Miss Gambia. Miss Germany. Miss Gibraltar. <laughs> Miss Guyana. <laughs> Miss Holland. Honduras. <laughs> Miss Iceland. <laughs> Miss Ireland. Miss Italy. <laughs> Miss Jamaica. <laughs> Miss Japan. Miss Korea. Miss Luxembourg. <laughs> Miss Malta. <laughs> Miss Mexico. Miss New Zealand. Miss Nigeria.
Nigeria. Miss Norway. Africa. Tanzania. Miss Tunisia. Miss Turkey. Uganda. <laughs> Miss United Kingdom. <laughs> Miss United States of America. Venezuela. And finally, Miss Yugoslavia. And there we are, ladies and gentlemen. Miss Yugoslavia brings the, uh, all the girls in on stage for the Miss World 1967. You have seen all the 54 contestants, and remember, only 15 can go through. I have, in fact, picked one. Not the winner, you understand, but just pick one. So, uh, see if it's yours. Well, as I say, 15 will go through, and let's hope that uh, the 15 that you've picked on your piece of paper at home will match with the judges, to whom I'll be introducing you later. So there we are. Your appreciation, please, for people who won't come back, because only 15 go through, as we help narrow the field down to see who will be Miss World 1967. Hello again, a live hello in fact, um, rather like the live hellos I've been giving to 54 girls the last two days and I've been getting 54 goodbyes in that many languages but still it doesn't depress me too much. Well now I say live because what you have just been watching at home was a film made earlier, um, yesterday, 
And during the time you're watching that, our judges and the people in the Lyceum here were watching the girls coming on again, all 54, in evening dress, so that our judges could, in fact, pick the final 15. This they have done, and uh, I have them with me here, but before, in fact, I name them to you, let me introduce the very distinguished panel of judges we have tonight to judge Miss World 1967. So, first of all, in seat number one, His Excellency the Indonesian Ambassador, Lieutenant General Ibrahim Aji. Her Royal Highness Princess Elizabeth of Toro. The Earl of Shannon. Maureen O'Hara. The General Manager of BBC Television Outside Broadcasts and our Chairman of the Judges Panel tonight, Peter Dimmock. Richard Chamberlain. The Marquis of Bath. Lady Worrell. And the first secretary of the Paraguayan Embassy, Dr. Pedro Patino. Those then, ladies and gentlemen, are our panel, with whom I hope you don't disagree too violently at home. Anyway, if you do, we do have a doctor in the house. Thank you very much, Richard. Well, here we are, the final 15. And I'm five pounds down already, which can't be bad. Number one, Miss Argentina. Miss Argentina is Maria Sabaliascus. At home in Argentine, I am a law student and this I enjoy. I am happy at home, but I like to be in London too. My favorite hobby is shooting. Number six, Miss Canada. Miss Canada is Donna Barker. I shall always treasure the memories of my visit to London. I have enjoyed it tremendously and I shall have great fun relating it to my friends when I return home to Canada. Number eight, Miss Chile. From Chile, Margarita Tele. I have always lived in Chile. My ambition is to become a mother. I hope to be a good one. Slovakia. Miss Czechoslovakia is Alpeta Trkulova. As my country is being represented for the first time in the Miss World Contest, I feel I have to be a good contestant not only for my country but also for myself. Number 16, Miss France. Miss France is Carole Noé. My chaperon teases me because I told her I like to eat snails, but I am French, so it is natural. Maybe I will get my chaperon to try some before I go back to Paris. Number 18, Miss Germany. Miss Germany is Ruth Kocker. My hometown in Germany is Krefeld, and it is well known for manufacturing silk and velvet. I'm very proud that the coronation robe of Queen Elizabeth was made in Krefeld. Number 19, Miss Ghana. Miss Ghana, Araba Road. It has been a lot of fun to come to London and very interesting for me. At home, I live in Accra with my family who has sent me lots of good wishes for tonight. Number 22, Miss Guyana. Miss Guyana is Shakira Batch. I was invited over in Suriname 
where I met Rita Faria, and she encouraged me to enter the Miss Guyana contest. So here I am for the Miss World contest. Number 27, Miss Israel. Miss Israel is Dalia Regev. As I am a computer programmer in Israel, I want to see some of the biggest computers you have in your country. I think it is very important for the future. Number 28, Miss Italy. Miss Italy is Tamara Barone. I have not seen much of London yet, but I hope to see Carnaby Street sometime soon. Number 42, Miss Peru. Miss Peru is Madeleine Hartog Bell. I sold my car to come to Europe a little while ago, and now I am here in England from winning a beauty contest. Maybe I will be lucky to win some money and I can buy my car back again. Number 45, Miss South Africa. Miss South Africa is just a Dovish State. Number 46, Miss Sweden. Miss Sweden is Eva Englander. I have got friends here because I've been to England before. I hope I can stay off the contest and see some of them again. And I would like to make some new friends as well. Number 52, Miss UK. Miss United Kingdom is Jennifer Lewis. A year ago, I would never have dreamt I'd be here tonight. When I think that I only entered to promote my modelling career, it seems just like a dream. I only hope that I don't wake up. And the last of the 15 to get through, Miss USA, number 53. Miss USA is Pamela Paul. Everyone has been so very friendly and warm to me. I know that I will never forget my visit to London and the wonderful experience and the honor of just being able to participate in the Miss World Contest. So there we are, ladies and gentlemen. Those 15 girls move through into the next round, in fact, round four, and we shall be seeing them again here on the stage of the Lyceum in swimming costumes, which is a moment that I am looking forward to, you understand. Now, to give them time to change, a little music, and a group from Spain to sing to the girls about the girls, a big welcome, please, for Los Zafiros. <laughs>
tissere, for a tissere. I love you so. And thank you very much, Los Zafiros. So, as I said, on to round four, the final 15 once more, this time in swimsuits. Wehehe, as they say in certain quarters. As before, number one leads, ladies and gentlemen, Miss Argentina. Now, the girls may have told you some of their facts, uh, but not the most interesting bits. This is Miss Argentine, Maria Sabalyalskis, who is 20 and a law student. She has chestnut hair and honey-colored eyes, and she measures 35, 25, 36. Number six, Miss Canada. Donna Barker is Miss Canada. She's a model, and she's 20. Her hair is described as dark blonde, and she has hazel eyes. Her measurements, 36, 23, 36. Number eight, Miss Chile. This is Margarita Tellez, Miss Chile, a 17-year-old student who measures 35, 24, 35. She has brown hair and eyes. Number 11, Miss Czechoslovakia. Miss Czechoslovakia is Alzbeta Stokolova. I think uh, she's a student, aged 22. She has brown hair and eyes, and her measurements are 38, 24, 37. Number 16, Miss France. And this is Carol Noé, a drama student, aged 19. She has fair hair and brown eyes, and measures 37, 24, 37. Number 18, Miss Germany. This is Ruth Cocker, Miss Germany. 37, 23, 36, a blue-eyed blonde, and a student. She's 19. Number 19, Miss Ghana. Miss Ghana is Araba Vron. She's a hairdresser, and she's 18 years old, black hair and eyes. Her measurements are 37, 24, 37. Number 22, Miss Guyana. Miss Guyana is Shakira Batch, a shorthand typist, age 20, black hair, dark brown eyes, and she measures 37, 24, 37. Number 27, Miss Israel. Dahlia Regev is Miss Israel. She's 22 years old and a computer programmer. 
Got black hair and green eyes, and she measures 35, 23, 35. Number 28, Miss Italy. Miss Italy, Tamara Barone, a photographic model, 20 years old, dark brown hair with grey eyes, 37, 24, 37. Number 42, Miss Peru. Madeleine Hartog Bell, Miss Peru, 21 years old, a photographic model. Her hair is black, her eyes are brown, and her measurements are 35, 23, 35. Number 45, Miss South Africa. That's it, Dovis State, Miss South Africa, is 21 years old and a secretary. She has brown hair and blue eyes. And she measures 35, 23, 35. Number 46, Miss Sweden. This is Eva Englander, Miss Sweden, a secretary, 20 years old, a blue-eyed blonde, 38, 23, 35. Number 52, Miss United Kingdom. Jennifer Lewis is Miss United Kingdom. She's a model and she's 20 years old. She has dark brown hair, hazel eyes, and measures 36, 23, 36. And last, but by no means least, number 53, Miss United States of America. Miss USA is Pamela Paul. She's a 20-year-old student with dark brown hair, hazel eyes, measures the same as Miss United Kingdom. 36, 23, 36. And as Miss United States of America goes back to join the other girls, can I ask you all girls to come on stage, please, and join me? So we can, in fact, see you all, all together, looking very beautiful. It's driving me out of my mind, this program. Would you like to come here, dear, please? Miss Argentina? I like you. <laughs> I knew if I waited long enough, I'd get to touch one of them. Well, there we are, ladies and gentlemen. The final 15 from all over the world and of course we're lingering here to enable you at home to make your final decision as indeed is very important for our judges and to make it a little bit easier for you we've got a sort of simple bit of drill worked out which uh, gives me a great feeling of power actually girls so are you ready one quarter turn please there we are a left profile every bit as good as the right I promise you I've seen most of the curves ready girls Turn, please. Very interesting lineup, you must say. Who was it who said all good things um, come to an end, wasn't it? Turn, please, girls. And the. I see Richard Chamberlain's pulse is racing. Turn, please, girls. Thank you very much indeed. Well, there we are. That's the last time we'll see all 15. Now, Miss Argentine, would you be so kind as to lead off, my dear, for me, would you? Round off. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause, please.
Well, there we are, ladies and gentlemen. I'm waiting for a signal from my mate on the floor there with lots of earphones. In fact, I can't see his face with the earphones, which will tell me that the final seven have been selected. And as soon as they come to me, I'll let you know. The interesting thing to note, actually, is the London Evening Papers, which I meant to bring on stage with me, to make some sort of idea of the assessing of the starting prizes, which were favourable, I believe, for Miss Peru and a few others in the show. Interesting if you're winning any money at home. I sincerely hope so. A quick mention of the uh, many heats that each girl, of course, has gone through before coming to the stage of the Lyceum here. Something like, I think it's 15 rounds in each country before they come and appear here with us today. So really we have, you know, no way of judging beauty in other countries. They're all miss whatever country they are, and it's up to us. A very distinguished panel, hard at it at the moment still, to let us know. We've got the word? Excellent. Well, we've got the word, the final seven placings, and here's the man with the news. As always, a big welcome, please, ladies and gentlemen, for Michael Aspel. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. As Simon said, I'm going to attempt to talk to some of the girls. I've had difficulty in the past, not just because of the language, but because some of them are very tall, and my voice gets a little muffled at times but I'm looking forward to it. Um, it is an advantage, of course, to these girls to be able to speak as well as to look good and to move well. So I now call upon the last seven. I will remind you that this is not necessarily in alphabetical order. The first of the last seven, Miss Argentine. <laughs> Miss Argentine is Maria Savaliascus who doesn't speak English, do you? No, I don't speak English. Well, that was quite <laughs> good. Have you any more English than that? I don't understand. No, you haven't any more English <laughs> than that. So I said, bienvenida a Londres, and I'll turn over the page where it's in Spanish, and I would say, habla a nosotros en español, por favor, algunas palabras. Say a few words in Spanish. Bueno, eh, estoy muy, pero muy contenta de haber conocido a un pueblo que quería mucho a través de la literatura y a través del cine y a través de todas las cosas hermosas que tiene Inglaterra. She said she can't think of anything to say. Thank you very much indeed, Miss Argentine. Thank you very much. And now, Miss Czechoslovakia. Do you speak English? No, little. I understand little, but I don't speak. <laughs> don't speak much. Very well. Turning the page to the Czech Republic, I say Buďte vítána. That is welcome to England. Um, Děkujem. Ak se vám páčí naše televize? How do you like our television? Um, televisions in England very nice, and um, I like. Thank you very much indeed. Um, <laughs> now, I will ask the lady to say something in her own language. Akteras Nikolka Svol Poslovensky. Ja som veľmi rada, že som navštívila vašu krásnu krajinu a som rada, že som sa zúčastnila tejto veľkej súťaže. Then I say, Šlečno, ďakujem. Thank you very much indeed. Okay. Hmm. I haven't understood a word since I came on so far. Now, I know this lady speaks English. Miss Germany! <laughs> and this is Ruth Coker. Willkommen to England. Um, you. you have many, many interests, I believe. Yes, I like very much this figure skating and all sports and the uh, sewing and literature, music, theater, and a lot. And psychology too, I believe. Yes. That's very interesting. And it says here that you would like to meet a member of our government. Which member? The Foreign Minister, George Brown. Yes. <laughs> there, are, there are many people who would like to meet Mr. George Brown. Um, <laughs> while you're in London, you want to see opera. Is your favorite Wagner? N no, not Wagner. I like most uh, Verdi and Puccini. Splendid. Thank you very much indeed. Vielen Dank. Thank you. Another lady who is interested in languages, Miss Guyana. <laughs> Miss 
Diana is Shakira Baksh. You are interested in languages. Yes, I am interested in languages. Will you do this professionally? Will you be a linguist? Yes, I would like to. And what are you working at at the moment? I'm a secretary at home. What kind of company do you work for? With the government. That's a big company, <laughs> yes, indeed. I believe that you, you are a friend of Miss World 1966. Yes, Rita. I met her in Suriname. She is very lovely. Yes, and you, you've seen quite a lot of each other, have you? Yes. Yes. You have a large family at home, I believe. No, just three brothers. Oh, well, that's big enough. <laughs> well, thank, I'm getting a wind-up from that distinguished mm -hmm. gentleman there. Thank you very much indeed, Shakir Baksh. Thank you. <laughs> And now, Miss Israel. I feel nervous about talking to Daniel Regev because she is a computer programmer and wants to be a mathematician. Uh, how many years have you studied mathematics? Uh, I studied in the high school. In the high school. I have to first uh, to apologize for my English. I don't know English. Uh, I study in the high school mathematics and I take uh, some courses in mathematics in the university. Yes. I believe you had permission from General Diane to come here. Is this correct? <laughs> yes. Why do you have to have his permission? Uh, I work in the uh, Israel aircraft industry. In the aircraft industry? In the, uh, and uh, he's the... Um, how we say, the big boss of the kind. Yes, <laughs> well, I know about General Diane. I think that's all we have time for. I'm sorry, Mrs. Joe. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs> I have the choice of French or Spanish here, neither of which is good. Miss Peru. <laughs> Peru is Madeleine Hartog Bell. Shall we speak? Do you speak English? Uh, no, uh, but I promise I will learn English. Thank you very much indeed. That's a nice thing to say. Uh, shall we parler en français? C'est la première fois pour vous en Angleterre? First oui. time? Oui, oui, c'est la première fois que je suis ici, mais j'espère entrer bientôt. Oui, good. Uh, Avez-vous visité des autres cities en uh, Europe? Any other cities in Europe uh, you've been to? Oui, maintenant j'habite à Paris. Paris? Oui. Paris, as we say over here, yes. And what do you think of Paris? What? Do you like Paris? Aimez-vous Paris? <laughs> oui, beaucoup, mais aussi j'aime l'Angleterre. Oui, oui. Merci. Beautifully said. Thank you very much indeed, Miss Peru. <laughs> That's six. One to go. Miss United Kingdom. <laughs> Jennifer and I had a talk yesterday and she said, I hope you're not going to ask me all that rubbish on the show, so I've had to think up some other questions. Are you envious of all the other girls coming from all over the world? Oh, certainly not. No, no. I get on with them very well. When I say envious, I mean that they've come from all corners of the globe and you are stuck here in the old country. Are you sorry about that? No, I love England. I really do. You have had some travel, of course, in the beauty business, haven't you? Yes, yes, I've been to Venezuela, Brazil and to the States, hmm. France. You have a great list of activities here, many of them. Which do you like most? Well, I like to swim and to dance and to read probably the most of all. Fine, noble things. Thank you very much indeed, Jennifer Lewis. Thank you. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, those are the seven finalists. We shall very soon know who uh, is going to be in this world. It has to be soon because we promised the chaperones the girls could be out of here by Sunday at the latest. Thank you very much. Now the weather forecast. Thank you. Thank you very much, Michael Aspel. One of the great chatters of our time, Michael, there. My goodness me, I won't watch the news in the same way anymore, I don't think, after that. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there we are, down to seven now. We see Argentina, Czechoslovakia, Germany, Guyana, Israel, Peru, and United Kingdom. Let's see, one blonde, one redhead, five brunettes. Can't be bad, really, can it? Well, now, they're going to have a bit of work done for them now because, uh, in fact, we have a singer coming on to a bit of light relief while you work out your pencils and paper placings at home. Someone whose records um, I have played many times as my capacity as a disc jockey. I think he has a tremendous future in front of him. I want you to give a very, very, very big welcome, please, ladies and gentlemen, to Malcolm Roberts. <laughs> The most beautiful.
beautiful girl in the world Picks my ties out, she eats my candy You know she even drinks my brandy The most beautiful girl in the world The most beautiful star in the world It isn't Garbo, huh? it isn't Dietrich Ooh, but that's a sweet trick that can make me believe it's a beautiful world. She's the one and only beautiful girl in the Indeed, Malcolm. Malcolm Roberts, ladies and gentlemen. And um, singing about beautiful women, actually, brings me to my next link. Someone who filled that position admirably last year, here to place her crown on the new Miss World. Miss World 1966, Rita Faria. And now to present the awards, the joint chairman of Mecca, Mr. Alan B. Fairley, ladies and gentlemen. Just a quick reminder, of course, that the Miss World contest is held in aid of children's charities in association with the Variety Club of Great Britain, who are in fact organizing a ball later on tonight for the girls as some form of compensation. And now to award the prizes, the organizing director of Mecca, ladies and gentlemen, and he's done such a lot of work, Mr. Eric Morley. And now, ladies and gentlemen, here are the results of Miss World 1967, announced in reverse order as is customary. Fifth place to Miss United Kingdom. <laughs> Thank you.
she receives a cheque for £100 and a silver trophy. For Miss Israel. And she receives, besides the silver trophy, £150. Third, Miss Guyana. And this time, the cheque is £250. And the runner-up to Miss World, Miss Argentina. One to go, and the prize for the runner-up is £500. Miss World 1967, Miss Peru. <laughs> so the new Miss World is Hartog Bell, Miss Peru, a photographic model, 21 years old. The girl who wants a successful career. She speaks no English, but she writes poetry. This should inspire a bit more. She sits. I think she's a little overwhelmed. Now the cloak around the shoulders. Rita Ferrier, the retiring Miss Girl, will step forward in a moment to place the crown on her successor. The crown. The motion has taken over. The trophy. To complete the scepter. Miss Peru is Miss World 1967. <laughs>